welcome back to my channel if you're new around here hi my name is Jodie and I like to create beauty related content here on this channel so if that is something that you guys are interested in make sure that you are subscribed and that you click the bell just so you are notified every single time that I upload um today's video is a rather exciting video and I know I say that in every video and I know I say that in every video but today it is so somebody may have launched their own brand and I may have eventually caved and bought their palettes so if you don't know who I'm about and you don't know the title I may or may not have bought a M -M -M Mitchell palette <laughs> yeah I kind of couldn't help myself and I may or may not have his other palette and a blush blush liquid blush on the way black friday got me i mean i didn't buy this one in black friday annoyingly but black friday did get me with the other one review this beautiful palette oh my god you guys if you guys know me you know that this is a bit of me so if you are interested to know my honest thoughts on this palette we're going to be doing swatches we're going to be doing an eye look and we're going to be reviewing it then make sure you stick around and let's just get into the video a little bit about this this is mamama mitchell's brand he has his own website now called made by mitchell it's his own brand these are his palettes um each palette retails for 40 pound each um I paid 40 for this one I didn't pay 40 for the other one yeah so this one is the head in the clouds palette so his palettes all come with an actual like cover like they come in a case so I just think it's so novel it's so different yeah so these are 40 pound they do come with their own case I do quite like that element in a way because I just feel like it's something different however I got this delivered the same day as a palette that came broken and because of the colour of it and obviously I've actually got eyeshadow. I don't know if that will focus. I've got eyeshadow on it. Um, really annoyingly it's ended up on the case. So I think that is the only downside to this is that it is going to get grubby. But if you're a makeup artist and you're travelling it's a good way of storing your palettes. So let's get into this. So inside you've got the palette oh my god so um made by mitchell is a cruelty free and vegan brand so these are both cruelty free and vegan although it doesn't say on here it does say on the website that their brand is cruelty free and vegan so i would just look up the ingredients if you're unsure or not happy to just go ahead and purchase um but from my understanding they are cruelty free and vegan um the design on these is beautiful like look at that rainbow going through that palette there stunning so yeah they come in one of these and then in a box and then this is the actual palette just love it and then this is the back the back reads the same as the back of the box as well um and then let me put that to one side this is the palette And even the little sheet that you get over the top has got like the M on it for Mitchell, which I think is quite cute. But yeah, this is the palette if you guys have not seen it yet. It is a very me palette. I somehow managed to have this for two weeks and not swatched it yet. However, that's all going to change today. So if you want to know how these swatch, let's go do it. Another thing to note is that each corner of the palette is a mat and they all have an M in them. I'll show you afterwards, hopefully the, you'll still be able to see them. So first three shades from the first row, Water, which is a white, Better Days, which is a gorgeous shimmery yellow, and Shepherd's Delight, which is this gorgeous brown. So only the yellow is a shimmer. Then we've got Cockpit, oh, gorgeous, and Dusk, which is a bit more of a brown than this one here, which is a bit more ready brown. That is row number one. Okay, row number two, we've got Bora Blue, oh, gorgeous, Lucid, 
which is they're both quite um pastel type colors and then we've got eclipse oh my god if that isn't a bit of me i don't know what is that is beautiful i don't know how to pronounce this next one so i'm just not going to bother but it's the yellow <laughs> beautiful and then we've got skywalker which is a gray so that is row number two and that is rows one and two those shimmers are beautiful the mattes seem really pigmented so let's go on to row number three row three we have sunburn golden hour and doris day whoa that's a duochrome orange pink shimmer i also don't know how to say this one so i'm just going to skip the i'm going to show you the shade but i'm going to skip saying the shade it's obviously the one next to doris day which is a gorgeous pink color and then we've got clouded which is a gorgeous white wow so that is all of row three row number four i also don't know how to say this i just don't want to sound stupid anyway it's the purple that is beautiful we've got the shade dawn and we've got I couldn't see what it said then it's quite hard to read the names of them <gasps> whoa oh my god that blue and that wow well, it's like a green isn't it that green and that purple they're beautiful they're gorgeous swatched beautifully like that purple didn't feel like too um hard or anything like that like it was really soft then we've got banana skies midnight which is kind of like a navy blue um it does not swatch well at all um it does feel a little bit more hard pan than the rest of them but that is row number five four four and then those are three and four probably two of my favorite rows just in terms of some of the colors although saying that i like all of the colors on i like a lot of the colors on all of the rows okay last row we've got hi honey pink eye <laughs> oh my god that's beautiful though M -m -m marmalade and we've got soda skies and night shift so that is the last row let's chat a little bit the only statement i have to make so far obviously i've not tried them yet swatches do not mean everything is that i much prefer his shimmers to the matte formula swatching um i just feel like some of them feel a little bit on the drier side um but that doesn't mean that they're not going to perform very well just because i feel that like they're a little bit dry like a tiny bit um i genuinely think they're going to be amazing okay i'm back i have done my base as per it's p louise base because obviously it's my favorite this one is number two we may or may not end up using mama mitchell's collab with them on the acid rain paints in blank canvas but i've not decided what kind of look i want to do yet okay i think i know what i'm gonna do um so i'm gonna take the shade we're gonna be risky i'm gonna take this shade here which is midnight it was the dark navy blue that didn't swatch the best and i'm gonna pop that on first I don't know if this is going to be a very big mistake or not. I'm going to use Morphe brushes. This one is the M321 brush. <laughs> that shade is now all on and i'm gonna go in with i think this one here which is called 
cockpit. Um, I'm not promoting you buy these brushes, but personally, I just needed yeah, a small rounded one. Um, so this one, unfortunately, is a Morphe Jeffree Star J JS13. Um, I do have another one. But I need it for the final layer of this look which is um, a Jaclyn Hill JH39. So if you can buy these separately, which I'm not sure if you can, I know they've been on sale because of Black Friday, definitely try and pick up one of these ones. Um, but I needed two, and unfortunately one of them has to be Jeffrey. <laughs> yellow maybe for the last bit so i think i'm gonna take this one here which is a bit of a darker yellow um i was gonna take the purple i think i'm gonna take the yellow we're gonna stick with the yellow color i think oh i don't know if i'm gonna regret this now but... Okay, so I've got the yellow on. Now I'm gonna add a bit of shimmer. So I'm gonna take this shade here called, I'm gonna add Eclipse, which is like the blue. go off camera i'm gonna sort out my um my eyes put mascara and lashes on then i'm gonna come back and we're gonna discuss this palette because i've got some things to say so okay everyone so i'm back um that took a little while not too bad to be honest just needed everything up a little bit and finish the eyes and things off so for anybody interested this is what the eyes now finished look like this is what the finished eye looks like so we've got that gorgeous kind of blend of the blues the green and the yellow then i've gone for clouded which is this gorgeous shimmery white color for the inner corner and then underneath i ended up taking the purple that i was undecided whether to take where the yellow is um underneath so that's everything for the eyes in terms of my lashes if anybody's interested these are lit lash in the style hustler which are one of my favorite pairs because they are quite quite a bit more natural than the other ones that i've been wearing recently um and i really do enjoy those and then for my lip combo i have on the morphe liquid lipstick in the shade jealousy which is just this gorgeous red toned brown nude and then i've also got on the beauty bait lip gloss in the shade slippers which again is a gorgeous kind of ready brown nude definitely my kind of lip color i don't know if it necessarily matches the eye look but like we've come with it now and i'm not taking it off so let's discuss what i think about this palette so we'll get the more kind of like boring bits out of the way um in terms of the formula i found that the mattes um had a little bit of kick up in the pan but actually hardly anything compared to other palettes that i've tried recently um the kick up was pretty good that initial like navy blue shade i had to go in quite a lot with it wasn't necessarily because it wasn't building nicely or because it wasn't pigmented but i feel like it I don't know if this is just my one but it's quite hardly pressed so i felt like i had to keep digging my brush in a little bit to get more off it um and that was the only one that swatched not the best but actually when it was on the eye it looked really good it blended out really well it built really well um so swatches definitely aren't everything guys in terms of the green and yellow i thought the green went on absolutely beautifully this this lovely green one up here it went on really nicely and it's blended beautifully with the yellow and the blue as well that yellow which was this yellow here worked really really well again blended really nicely the shimmer oh my god i've never seen a shimmer like it like it just glided 
with the with the brush it just glided which i don't normally find happens with shimmers like a lot of the time they glide really nice with your finger but when you use a brush they just don't go on as nice this did i was so shocked it's so pigmented definitely a little bit goes a long way um and that shade is beautiful like it looks purple in some lights and then it looks blue like it's defo a duo chrome like shift purple blue and the white shade for the inner corner is gorgeous this formula is lovely i really really like this formula of um shimmers and overall i don't really have anything bad to say there was quite a bit of fallout from the yellow on my face but i think that was just because i didn't i like took too much on my brush um it's necessarily not a bad thing um but yeah just be pre-warned i would probably do your eyes first although saying that the blue i did have a little bit of fallout from the blue but nothing as bad as i thought it was going to be the yellow was actually worse in my opinion in terms of fallout but overall these are so pigmented and if you are after a new take on a rainbow palette because i feel like this is quite different like it's not got your typical rainbow shades in at all but if you are after a rainbow-esque palette and you don't really want to go for like a really similar one to say be perfect or james charles morphe I would definitely get this one um i am so excited for the other one um to come in this collection and i'm definitely going to be testing it out for you guys i really really enjoyed this if you did make sure that you um subscribe to my channel for more content don't forget to leave me a comment have you picked up any of these palettes have you given them a go and don't forget to like and i will see you guys in my next video bye